This episode is dedicated to a group of incredible women, the Elo ladies, the Psalm warriors. Thank you for your prayers. You're holding up the world. Keep it going. Thank you for who you are and what you do, and don't stop. So we're about to enter into the most, well, the greatest and the most misunderstood day of the year, Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is it. And the Mishnah teaches us, Lo you Yom Tovim Li Yisrael. There is no greater days than Yom Kippur. And yet, I don't know, if I asked you, what would be the greatest yuntif? What would be the greatest holiday? I'm not sure Yom Kippur would make the list. Like, we have great holidays. We know how to holiday. Is Yom Kippur on the list of the greatest holidays? I don't know. When I grew up, I dreaded Yom Kippur. The whole thing. The fear, the guilt, not being enough, always being reminded that I'm not. The fast, the praying. It's important. I don't think it's a holiday. So what's going on? The rabbi's like, no, 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 this is a great day. And the rest of us are like, I don't know, the holiday for many people is the day after Yom Kippur because it's the longest part on the calendar till the next Yom Kippur. So what are we missing? So allow me to tell you a story. I've said this before, but hopefully it'll resonate and clarify. Imagine, if you will, imagine that we found out, the world found out, there's an announcement that in some incredible clinic in Israel, in some undisclosed location. You know this is like going to happen one day. They discovered this ray, this light. A cryo chamber, if you will. A type of chamber. And when they put this ray, imagine like they have a ray that when they, the Israeli scientists figured it out, that when they put this ray on your body, as the ray passes over your skin, it heals everything underneath it. So all the toxins are removed, and all the fat is removed, and it builds the muscle naturally, and any sickness inside you is removed, any broken bones removed and fixed. Imagine, and you know this is going to happen at some point. In some undisclosed desert in Israel, they're going to figure this out, for sure. But look, for right now, let's just imagine it before it happens. Imagine if it happened. And Israel has told the world, we figured it out. Send us your sick. Send us your unhealthy. They'll walk into this chamber and we will literally heal them. What would happen? The world would go insane. No? Hospitals would clear out. People with that sickness would clear out. Anyone that that doesn't want to diet would clear out. The whole world would clear out. They'd sit in this chamber. And in this chamber, the rays would come down and immediately the body would be fully healed and you know, and then they would leave. Can you imagine? Now imagine if not only do they have that for the body, they had it for the soul. See, the soul's real. And the soul was also healthy and not healthy. See, God gave us a soul. And the soul is a piece of him. And a soul has properties. And there are foods that are good and bad. And there are words that are good and bad. And there are days that you tap in and don't tap into. And the Torah is filled with exercise regimes and rules that that are going to make the soul healthy or not healthy. Make the connection to the larger divine stronger or weaker. It's it's a real thing. Imagine if the chamber could fix and heal your soul. The answer is we have a chamber like that. We have technology like that. It's called Yom Kippur. What is Yom Kippur? Kibayom azei chaper lachem the verse says today God takes us on Yom Kippur and he cleans us and he heals us and he removes all the negativity and before Hashem we are pure what is Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur is a spiritual chamber in which you enter into not in space but in time and in that period of time, the rays, so to speak, that God sends us are rays in which that heal our soul. Because we're human beings and we mess up. And it's hard to maintain a soul in a world like this one. And God bakes in the day, in the day already. He knows that we're not perfect. So he bakes in this annual refresh to heal our soul, 
to get rid of the toxins and the ex excess fat and the broken bones and the sickness. Now imagine as if somebody came to this chamber and got into the chamber and they said, okay, now take off your clothes. And you go, no, no, no I, don't, I don't want to do that. No, 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 we got to get the rays on you. You're, 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 you're fully clothed. You got to disrobe. Like, no, 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 no. You're like, yo, you came to the chamber. Take off your clothes. Like, it's not going to work. And you're like, no, 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 no. In order for you to feel the rays, you have to be exposed. And Yom Kippur comes. And Hashem says, listen, I'm here to help. I'm giving you a day that I can clean you. But you got to come in and ready. I can't, and there is some level of it, but I can't fully force it on you. You're in this chamber. The minute the sun goes down, you're in a chamber for 25 hours, the greatest day of the year. You're in a day that is unlike any other day. You're in a day that the rabbis teach us, the Gemara says, that it's the day where the negative energies are, are pushed away, so to speak. You're in a day that doesn't exist throughout the year. But if you come in and you're fully clothed, if you're, if you're closed, it's not going to penetrate. So open up. Be a little vulnerable. And start to dig into why are we so disconnected. And on Yom Kippur we come in and we don't come in closed. We come in and we say, Hashem, I, I, my bad. I lived the life where I was in the center. And you're in the center. And it's hard for me to put you in the center. I want to be in the center. And so that's why I did this and did that and this and this, that and that. And I, I realize now that was wrong. It's a day where you stop and you go, I shouldn't have said that. I did it because I'm insecure. When I'm insecure and I see them, I always say those things. I judge those people. I don't know them and yet I judge them. I took that thing. I shouldn't. It's wrong. I shouldn't take. I should trust that I'm going to get what belongs to me. I could learn more about you. I could do more. I say that I can't, but I can. I'm, I, I could do it for other things. Why can't I do it for you? Yom Kippur is this incredible day where we come to God and we we don't say sorry because he's like up there with like, you know, do I put you in this book or that book? Like as if God like doesn't want more for us than we want for ourselves. It's a day in which we come to God and we we open up and we expose the spiritual defects and we delve into what's blocking me from you and we express it and we articulate it and we uncover it and at that moment the rays of Yom Kippur are there to clean it on Yom Kippur God makes us white like snow if we're willing to disrobe to stop fighting, to stop being so defensive, to stop being so mad at Hashem and at the world that we're not this and we're not that, to stop even judging ourselves, to forgive ourselves and let ourselves be human, but at the same time to be able to delve into where I was off in my own life to my family and friends, to community and to, and to Hashem. When a person is able to get to a place of vulnerability on Yom Kippur, which is why we say sorry again and again and again. It's not because there's some king wanting us to juggle and bow. It's because it exposes us and it gives us deeper insights and deeper insights. I just said that. Oh, I'm sitting again because, and I go deeper into myself and I have a moment where I don't have to be somebody. I don't eat or drink. I don't got to go somewhere, no desires. I have nowhere to go, nowhere to be, nothing to do. My body is put to the side for one day and I get to be a soul. I get to be like an angel. Delve and connect. You know, there's a famous verse that Rabbi Kiva says, Ashrechem Yisrael, you're so lucky, Israel. Who is purifying you? It is not some king or some judge. You know who purifies us? Our loving Father. There's no greater days. Hard? Yeah, greatness is hard. Challenging? Yeah. It's much harder to be on the field than in the stands. But greatness is worth the price. This Yom Kippur, let's go in excited. 
let's go in with the recognizing the opportunity before us to have the rays, the spiritual rays of Yom Kippur clean us, every aspect of our soul, and to open ourselves up to a life of greater depth and greater connection and greater understanding so that our Father in Heaven can make us as white and as spiritually strong as we deep down know we can be.